Okay, so one of the probably simplest or at least really um, recognizable diagnoses in Dermpath is going to be your classic example of a sclerosing dermatitis such as morphia. And when I say dermatitis, it actually may not show much inflammation at all. It may just show um, a burned out, very box, boxy shape to the um, to, to the biopsy um, because it's, it's just so sclerosed at this point. So you don't have much inflammation. So calling it a sclerosing dermatitis is a little bit um, maybe uh, too much. So really what you have is just a few sclerosis here. Um, so you can see kind of an atrophic epidermis with flattened reedy ridges. So the sclerotic collagen is just completely obliterated and effaced to the reedy ridge ridges overlying the epidermis. So the most important thing to just really get a sense of is how acellular morphia really is um, and how sclerotic that collagen is. So the nuclei of the fibroblasts are pretty few and far between at this point. They're really small when you find them. Um, you also have a loss of terminal hair follicles. You have um, maybe a little focal retention of pili erector muscle. Um, and you also have, if you can find some eccrine glands, you'll often have loss of the periecrine fat as well. Um, so in inflammatory stage of morphia, you'll see some of these features that I pointed out, but you'll also see more, um, kind of periecrine inflammation, maybe some perifollicular inflammation. Um, oftentimes it can start at the bottom of the specimen and work its way up. So this is a nice example of a sclerosing process, and it's very consistent with morphia or scleroderma, depending on the clinical context. Actually, you can catch a little bit of inflammation here around the eccrine glands in this case, and that very drastic loss of peri, peri uh, eccrine fat. And here's just another example. Um, there's actually more inflammation in this case, so I wanted to contrast it, but you can see at low power that boxy shape to the biopsy. Again, kind of an atrophic epidermis with a face reedy ridges. You have some retention of the uh, erector pili muscle. And when you go on higher power, you see those very thick eosinophilic collagen bundles, not a lot of white space in between them, um, very acellular or posse cellular the nuclei of the fibroblasts are uh, few and far between here. And you can see loss of the periecrine fat as well, as I mentioned in that last case. A Little bit of inflammation here around, uh, looks to be either obliterated vessels or obliterated eccrine. So this is just another example of a sclerosing process such as morphia or scleroderma, depending on the clinical context.